several years ago, we had to change when Patrick decided to go pro, we had to change how we played. And we had to change our thought process. And we developed a, a new system that, that we thought was going to be able to help us have success. Well, we liked that system so much that we started recruiting to it. And what you're looking up, look, looking at here today is the group of young men who were recruited to play in the system that we have put together. Be the quickest, fastest, most athletic team that I've had here in my seven years, and I don't think we've been any slouch on that end. So you're going to enjoy watching this group. And yeah, we just want to thank you guys for coming out. You know, uh, the, the new guys didn't believe us. Uh, you know, the amount of people we told them we're going to be there and the support that we get. So now they get to see firsthand and, uh, you know, they'll be able to take this and run with it. And, uh, <laughs> first, uh, Nick Gerson just made our team. He's from Nebraska. He was a walk-on. No one had ever heard of him before. And he just kind of came every day and showed up and worked awfully hard and showed some skill and some tenacity. And uh, it, it's going to be a joy to have Ned hang around and, uh, another young man, the building's gone, but the name is not forgotten. And, and, and James Robertson, many of you know from Richwoods, is a local young man and had a great, great high school career. And uh, we were excited that he wanted to be a part of our program. And so I'll start here with, uh, this is Darian Norris. He's from the land of dice. Many of you have taken that Allegiant junket. It's been a good recruiting tour for us. It's no layovers, non-stop. To Vegas, I had to sell his mom and dad so they can get to our games real easy. And we certainly don't mind going out to recruit them because we enjoy the weather and the other things that Vegas has to offer. But uh, uh, Darian is a, a tremendous young man uh, who, who is working hard and he's got multiple abilities, one being the, the ability to score. And, uh, we're showing him that there's another end of the floor, the defensive end. And he's adjusting to that pretty good, too. Taylor Brown and uh, Taylor it's an interesting story um, coach Brooks gets a phone call late in the recruiting period about this young man who's the son of an NBA player and, uh, who's been working out in this gym and somebody who knew somebody who knew another person who saw him knew coach Brooks <laughs> yeah, we're, we're excited to have Taylor I call him Peaches he doesn't necessarily like that <laughs> Because sometimes he plays hard and sometimes he plays a little soft. But we're very well tonight. You're going to love watching this young man grow as Taylor Brown. Uh, Edgerin is, is from Louisiana. And uh, the first time I saw Edgerin, uh, he reminded me of a young Daniel Ruffin, which is a tremendous compliment uh, to Edgerin. I guess they want me to do uh, a player imitation, and you guys really don't know this guy yet, but he's a real good guy, and uh, you know he. I, we really don't know where this kid's from. He's from like I think the whole southern United States, uh, and it's, uh, it's Edgar McCain. You guys will, will pick it up as you see him a little more this year. But uh, here we go. Be like, oh, what's up, y'all? What's up? What's going on? Huh? Are y'all ready to go out here and practice, huh? Hey, I mean, people going to be up at I2 Supper, y'all. Yeah? <laughs> but wouldn't it be nice to add 40 pounds and people still call you Sticks? <laughs> well, well, that's what Sticks has done. He's added 40-some pounds this summer, thanks to Ronnie Wright and his workout program, plus down in shakes and calories and making sure that he stops at every Dairy Queen in town. <laughs> you know, one of the guys that, that we looked at after last season and, and talked about potential and ability, and, and, and we put some pressure on for the offseason uh, to dedicate himself to the game, to the weight room, uh, to realizing his potential. And Will has had a great offseason, has done a great job here in, in, into the preseason, and uh, we're expecting big things from Will Eagle from Alaska. You want to know what tough is? Tough is sending him home for fall break for four days and he comes back with a black eye. Right? <laughs> um, I got a little nervous there for a second when uh, 
Coach Wade has made his way over to me after talking to Will with those eyes. I could have sworn he was going to give me something about the Cubs. <laughs> but, but he didn't. He always seems to, to squeeze, squeeze one of those in there. Unfortunately, growing up a Cubs fan, I'm used to it. Another young man who locally you know, grew up around Bradley basketball, and, and, and we're certainly proud that he wanted to be a part of Bradley basketball and has come and walked on our team. And Many people don't know this, but last year when we had an extra scholarship, the, the second half of the year, Ryan got that scholarship because of the hard work and, and dedication and devotion that he put in, and that, that's a great credit to, to Ryan. The first time I, I laid eyes on him as a player, I said, man, this, this guy is perfect for our system. And then you see the player, and, and sometimes the player and the person don't match. And when I sat down and talked to him after, and, and, and we had a discussion about Brad, we had a discussion about him and what he wanted, uh, I was more impressed by the person than I was the player, and I was pretty impressed by the player. <laughs> <laughs> it's taken a little longer with some guys to convince them. You know, at first they wanted to go to Illinois State. Uh, everybody's in Title I mistake. <laughs> Homegrown guy, Ryan Lavin from Peoria, Notre Dame. Uh, Ryan's been with us now for four years. I can't believe it. <laughs> Enjoying yourself? <laughs> sure, you, you know this guy. <laughs> when I was here in the 40s, we went to the final four. <laughs> This year, he shed some of that, some some pounds that we gave the sticks. So <laughs> he made a sacrifice for his teammate, which which we really liked. He was the biggest Canadian I've ever seen. <laughs> DC from Ontario, uh, his best and biggest in the biggest games, and. Uh, that bodes well for what we've challenged him to do is now take another step as, as going into a senior and, and not resting on what he did last year, but taking his game to a new level. And his approach mid to late summer, his approach here in, in the fall has really been uh, dominant. And, uh, and we like to see that out of him and expect big things from Theron Wilson. I know y'all have a taste of the Sweet 16, NCAA Burns before, and this I think this uh, team that we can make that happen, and if not, even more. So, uh, we're paying the price right now, and we're doing it for you and for Bradley itself. And uh, I can say thank you for coming out.